Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. This unit, there was a homeless guy living in it, died a week ago. When they picked up the body, he popped. I'm so glad I can't smell this. I've never seen something like this. Oh, that's still wet. Oh, there's some skin. Oh! Oh! oh. oh that's wet. This unit, the second one over, there was a homeless guy living in it, died a week ago. When they picked up the body, he popped. We are very desensitized to smell, but when we walk through the doors, down on the opposite side of the warehouse, we were gagging. We have no idea how he died. It's been an active crime scene up until 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna go open the door. I'm so glad I can't smell this. I've never seen something like this. And this is the worst other ever, right? Yeah, I would say this is definitely the worst yeah. ever that we've smelled. Um, I used to work on a farm, and I've smelled rotting animals, uh, and this is by far the worst. Like, we were gagging. My eyes were watering. Like, this is bad. One's foot is spasming. Like, this is bad. Oh, it's still wet. Oh, there's oh. some skin. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Crazy. Well, I guess we're gonna go get suited up and dive right in. Like it's super liquid because he he popped. But it looks like we can do this fast, right? Yeah, we can do this really fast. So we're only. But the problem is, no matter how fast we're gonna do this, we're gonna smell horrible coming out of here, and I feel so 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 bad for the person holding the camera because they're gonna smell just as bad as we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Let's go get dressed. It's crazy because somebody was living in a storage. Storage smelled really, really bad. We, we usually don't use uh, masks just for check the crime scene or decom, but we had to use mask for this one so bad he got kicked out a week ago um it's actually really really bad uh he's only been gone for like 15 to 20 minutes i guess uh this is the second time we've been here today because the first time they were still doing the investigation they have no idea what happened they just know that he was super dark green he popped when they moved him and he had a bag over his head so um, they're trying to figure out if it's a homicide, an overdose, a suicide. They have no idea. Uh, the odor is pungent. It'll knock you on your ass. Um, it's just kind of, this is our second bio. This is our second decomp today. So it's kind of, it's just kind of crazy. Chinese food for dinner tonight. Right? Yeah. Chinese food food tonight. So we have to have our respirators on before we even walk into the door because it burns your eyes. It's so it's so strong. Um, so we're gonna finish suiting up. I've got double gloves and he's putting on his Tavex suit. I'm gonna throw my boots on. We're gonna get to it. I have to get new boots. Oh,
Alright, one, two, three. Dorothy's calling! <laughs> Anyways. Hey, Kyle. Kyle! Kyle, are you sleeping on your job? What? What the hell? Are you listening to music? Uh, yeah. What is that? Um, uh, they're Raycon. Every day, E25 earbuds. These are pretty sweet. Yeah, they're wicked, wicked cool. Um, they look really expensive. They're not. We get a discount. Really? Where? Buyraycon.com forward slash crime scene cleaning. That's awesome. What, yeah. how, what discount do we get? Uh, 15% actually. So you get to save a good chunk of money on them. They're super affordable already. That's Makes amazing. How's the base? Uh, I couldn't hear you. Good point. We need to talk about that. I'm not applying and I can I can hear them like everywhere and that thing crazy. Pretty much all the biohazard is gone at this point. Uh, we're just doing like a cone, uh, part A and letting it, letting it sit on here so that way if we miss anything. Uh, what we're pretty much cleaning up at this point is his just as fat. Um, he was a super, super dark green before they, before they touched him. And when they went to move him, they popped. I mean, luckily there was a lot of stuff that everything that we were cleaning up soaked him up so it didn't have time to really sit, which is definitely a good thing, which is actually why it's coming up so easy. It's sealed concrete, which is an amazing, it's an amazing thing in our, in our line of work just because, um, with it being sealed, <laughs> it doesn't go through. It just, it sits on top. So, other than the owner, which we'll take care of tomorrow, when I drop off my machines and, and get everything going, it looks to be, it looks to be done visually. We won't know until we sanitize it and then we indicate it. So they said that this stuff right on top, they found around him. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dispose of it in a bio bin. serious note, I'm indicating. Trying to make sure that we got all of the bio. We have no foamage. The paint is still coming up. By golly, I think we're good at our job. We were instructed that just to take everything out of here. Luckily, it's not like a full storage unit. I just loaded up the cart that was in here that was clean with just the stuff. So that way when they come in, they literally don't have to do anything but rent it out. We got a map with other days, which is a product to eliminate the, the other from here and chop wave which is a different terminal.
to go home. <laughs> Fucking door. I feel like Marley. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and lock up everything. Like we're in the movie Lean On Me where they chain the door shut. Um, just because there's no way, it's a 24 hour facility, so there's no way to lock this bad boy. So, he gave me chains. Yes, I took off my Spalding shirt. I apologize that y'all get to look at all of this, but I was hot and dying. So I needed to take a breather. I don't know how criminals do it or like how people keep criminals out. I used to just break into these things. So I'm trying to go based off of memory on how like I used to break into them rather than how they were actually locked. I don't think that worked. Oh, it did. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is horrible. Mm -hmm. Take three, how to lock a door with a chain. So tomorrow I'll come in and do the ozone. Um, now that we just spent 20 minutes trying to chain the door shut with no handles. It was a success, minus the fact that you can actually just probably slide it off. They don't know that because people read signs and they're like, oh, the building's closed. They'll just see the chain, the lock, and avoid everything. And we're gonna put the trash can there as extra avoidance because people don't do stuff to get to break into things like that. So, see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it, guys. On to the next.